the Arab perfumes have just a few ingredients to play with, as in, you know, the combinations are made with oud, uh, amber, rose, but then uh, at the end, there's different types of ouds, there are different types of roses, there are different types of ambers. And then, of course, there are other spices also added into it. Uh, traditionally, Arab perfumes are used as oils. It's a definite uh, type of uh, aroma and it seems more natural and more uh, natural of the, um, this part of the world. And a lot of the Western parfums are more um, um, the same maybe, you, you know. Um, but uh, this is very exciting and wonderful to experience this. الشباب عادة يحبون يروحون المولات يعني العالي وهذا الأشياء بس في يعني في شباب يجون هني بس العادة الأجانب يحبون يجون هني ها يعني ويتمشون يعني في بين هالأسواق الشعبية يحبون الأسواق الشعبية ويحبون يشوفون أشياء يعني في البحرين قديمة فهني وايد أشياء قديمة فيون يجون يتمشون عادة هني ويجون هني المحل It was like as if I was walking back into time. You know, I would imagine my great-grandfather, you know, having customers come around him, you know, selling products. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm really not sure how the market was then, how these uh, shopping alleys were 100 years ago, but I'm pretty sure it was, it was a place to be. So when an Arab customer walks into our shops, they don't just buy one fragrance, they buy several. Fiche Jadid, which is the common phrase used by all of our customers, which means what's new. This is why we are constantly developing new perfumes, we are designing new distinctive bottles. Perfumes being a part of our culture, heritage and tradition, uh, one goes to visit uh, any relatives or friends, they must bring a generous gift of perfume, which is um, a symbol of beauty and, you know, love. Always it's cherished 
and uh, it's no more hidden in a bedroom now. It's always displayed in the centerpiece, a center table, or you know, for for the guests who would come in to to use. Thank you.